Today I'm going to make a quick video showing you how to turn Telnet on in Windows 7. Uh, by default it's uh, uninstalled or turned off. So first thing you need to do, go to your Windows button uh, and then we're going to go to Control Panel. And in Control Panel you're going to go to Programs and Features. Then you're going to go to Windows Features on or off here on the, t on the, on the left. Wait for that to populate. Okay, then you have a whole list of features and, and uh, you can turn on and off. And Telnet Client is one of them. Uh, there's a Telnet server too if you want to turn that on to Telnet into your computer. But all I want is a Telnet Client myself. I want to be able to Telnet into my router. Okay, um, let me show you something before I, I enable that. Um, I'm going to open up the uh, command prompt and I'm going to run it as administrator uh, you know if you don't have it there just type in CMD and uh, you'll see it come up on the top here right click it choose run as administrator uh, mine's asking user account control is asking me to open it so I'm going to click on yes on that probably you didn't see that now if you do a telnet here and this is how I came about finding this out uh, you know, Telnet question mark. Telnet is not recognized as an internal external command, uh, operable program or batch file, which means it's not installed. Um, you know, I'm, I'm used to it being installed by default in XP, uh, but regardless, it's not there. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to install it. So Telnet client here on the turn Windows features on and off. Click OK. This takes a little bit. So we'll wait. Uh, this progress bar here will uh, populate green and then disappear, at which point you know it's uh, installed. And after that, we'll test it out and see how it works. Okay, there it is uh, going green. Okay, so it's disappeared. It didn't say finished or anything, but that, that's how you know it's installed. Okay, and then we're going to go to uh, back to the command prompt, run that same command again, telnet question mark, and you'll see all the uh, switches and, and uh, configurations for the telnet. Next, uh, I'm going to try, I'm going to use it to uh, telnet into my router, which is 192.16.3.1. As for my primary login, I'm going to put the information in. And as you can see, it's DDWRT version 2.4. And uh, again, ready to go. So from here, um, you know, regular uh, uh, Telnet commands will work. Like, uh, let's say, help. Right? And that gives you the uh, all the commands that this Telnet uh, session allows. So, pretty neat. Uh, you're actually ready to go and uh, Telnet to any device you want after installing uh, Telnet. And that basically the, the, the plus about this is you don't have to download and install any foreign software into your computer. You're using the Telnet uh, daemon from uh, Windows. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.